In a somewhat surprising move, the Kansas City Chiefs released former All-Pro safety Eric Berry this offseason. Since his release, Berry has made only one visit, which was to the Dallas Cowboys. Reports suggested that the meeting was positive, but no contract was agreed to and Barry was interested in speaking with more potential suitors. To date, that hasn't happened and the market for safeties is quickly changing with one name after another coming off the market. One of the more recent names to find a home was George Aloka, who landed with the Cowboys on a one-year deal. His signing seems to have taken Dallas out of the running for Barry, but it really shouldn't. More from NFL Spin Zone While the signing of Aloka was a smart one for the Cowboys, they shouldn't be content at the position. For years, safety has been a problem in Big D and they need to do all they can to get it fixed. While there's a chance Aloka can come in and prove to be an upgrade over Jeff Heath, there's also a chance that won't be the answer. Or, they may not see the leap in production from Xavier Woods who has been developing the past two seasons for them. Adding a veteran like Barry helps to ensure they will have playmakers at a position that has been a huge weakness for the past half decade, or longer. As for the questions surrounding Barry, those are real as well. He's had a hard time staying healthy, which is why he's still available. It's also a reason he could be had at a much lower rate than his ability suggests. Speaking of his injuries, this is where the Aloka deal actually helps. With him on board, Dallas wouldn't be signing Barry with the expectation that he would have to carry the unit. Instead, anything he gives would be extra making it even more enticing to take the risk. Next, 2019 NFL Mock Draft, post-free agency first wave Dallas needs to do all they can to fix this position. Signing Aloka was one step in the right direction, but instead of ending the chances of signing Barry, it should increase them.